Hey guys, it's me, Terry, of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Happy New Year! This is the year 2021, and I have made some goals that I would like to accomplish for this year, and I wanted to come on here and share them with you. Okay, so I'm using this book that I got from uh, Tuesday morning a couple years ago because I have 2019 and 2020 and now 2021 the projects that I have been um, that I've made over those years and so this is the book I'm gonna be using again and um, I wrote my goals down right here okay like with Roman numerals <laughs> and so let me uh, tell you what I wrote down okay so for number one Roman numeral one I put yarn okay well last year I wrote down that I wanted to work my yarn stash down and of course I'm always trying to do that uh, but the main goal that I put for this time is that I want to consider the yarns that I have already um, before buying you know going out and buying more yarn i'm seeing what i can what projects i can make with the yarns i already have <laughs> okay so that is my goal for under the category of yarn okay next category is charity and i do want to continue making the preemie hats that i've been making every year for a, the halloween hat drive for one of the area hospital uh, nicu departments and so I, ha I always had a goal before of doing from January to October doing three hats per month so that I would have 30 hats to donate but I think what I'm going to try to do this time is I want to increase that number a little bit and so I want to set my goal at doing 40 hats um, for between now and October um, to be able to donate so uh, I don't know how I'm going to divide that up. It, it's not going to be like four. I mean, I, I thought about doing well. It would be four hats per month. But I, I think what I'm going to do is just to give me, myself a little cushion is that I'm going to do some extra ones here and there. Um, you know, I may not. That way I don't have to be pressured to do four hats every month. Uh, now, I always try to do one hat of, you know, and, and it'd be all different patterns, okay? But I think what I'm, I need to do is is make uh, duplicates of some of the hats, um, and uh, but to make more of them. <laughs> and so, anyway, I have a goal of 40 hats for this year, Um up until the time to donate them okay so that's what I have under charity I also under charity I also do have that I want I just wrote donate so what I want to do is I want to donate other items there's several different um, opportunities that I could donate to there's project Linus uh, there is um, a group that I used to, it's a Facebook group that is local to my city. Well, anybody can join it, but but the, the donating happens in our city. And it is called Aubrey's Angel, Aubrey's Angels Charity Crochet. And I was part of that for, uh, I've been part of that for many years, but I just have kind of slacked off and not d did much donating through uh, for them, um, except for the preemie hats. That's how I f first found out about the preemie hats was from this group. And so uh, I did, I was in contact with uh, the lady that, c that, that accepts the donations and to find out kind of what things that they're needing or you know stuff like that and so of course they said they would take anything they could find a home for anything I could give them uh, but then she did give me some specific ideas of things to donate and so I want to try to get back into um, making some things for them um, and like I said maybe Project Linus I'm not sure but I do need to uh, step up my donating game a little <laughs> Okay, so Roman numeral number three is Christmas, and under that category, I have that I want to make this set. It's the Nativity set. It's like the the Rudolph set that I did last year, but this year, uh, and there are 12 different patterns in this kit. Um, there's yarn that, in the kit, you get yarn, everything you need to make Baby Jesus and Mary, but then there's patterns. There's a booklet in there that's got the patterns for all these other um characters okay and so um there are 12 and so i could do like i did last year where i divided it up 
uh, one character per month and so at the end of the year I would have the whole set and uh, it I don't think it's I'm not gonna do it that way I don't think because uh, everything went well until I got to about October well no November and December those characters and it's just the fact that I've got other things going on at the same time getting things ready for Christmas and it was just a little bit hectic uh, getting those finished up um, so I really want to have Christmas things finished by like October you know that well that would be like an ideal thing <laughs> but but I'm, I'm sure that's not gonna happen but um, I don't want this to like add to the Christmas stress and so I want to enjoy you doing them and so I'm just gonna make them as I want to make them and I'm not going to um, just do one per month because I want to actually I want to get it finished up before right the end you know <laughs> now the Rudolph said I did make that goal and in uh, did all 12 characters but I'm just saying that that it was a little bit stressful at the end trying to get it finished so I am going to be working on this set throughout the year but I'm going to try to get it done quicker than just one per month that makes sense <laughs> okay so that's what I have under Christmas is the nativity set I also have under the category of Christmas is this past blog mess that we just got finished with I did really do a couple of tutorials for some Christmas ornaments and so uh, I really enjoyed doing that and I think um, I mean I I love doing little Christmas projects like that during de December and so I want to do more of them I and I so I want to have some Christmas tutorials I think I did two so I want to have more of them to be released during blog mess and so that is the goal for me under Christmas that I wrote down <laughs> okay uh, let's see now the next category is projects and so under projects the first thing I have is baby blankets stash and so what I mean by that is I, I've always thought it would be such an ideal thing to have some baby blankets already made for last minute gift giving uh, you find out somebody you know like like for me, uh, if you followed along on my uh, videos, you know that that um, a couple of months ago I was working on like two baby projects at one time, and you know it's just like last minute. Oh, so and so is having a baby. I want to make something for them, and so I really want to have a supply of a few baby blankets for both genders. Um, already made up so that way I I can have them is it's no stress I, I really want 2021 to be a no stress zone as much as possible <laughs> and so uh, I that's one thing I do want to have some baby blankets made up ahead of time um, and also uh, under that also under projects I have stitch your library which I've just I've explained before that stitch your library is just a Facebook group that I have belonged to although I don't know if it's active anymore but the idea is to use the books I have so many crochet books and magazines and I have um, patterns that are bookmarked in my computer and so I have so many patterns and then and books and then I'm getting more books then I you know you end up buying more books here and there I just bought two recently a week or so ago and so stitch your library is to try to go through the books that you've had forever and use patterns out of them and so I'm not going to put a number last year I think yeah last year I put a number I want to make so many out of my books and I want to make so many out of my downloaded uh, or bookmarked patterns I'm not gonna put a number on them this year but I just want to have it where I can consider I it'll be that will be in my mind to uh, consider them and use the books that I have okay so that is um, for the category under projects okay so the next category is record keeping okay I want to keep up with the keeping the projects uh, that I've been doing in this book uh, the only thing I I do I don't get read real detail about like what yarn I used and stuff like that but I want to keep track of the project um, the, the like the pattern where to find the pattern and also the hook size that I use that's the main um, things it seems like that I need to keep track of because I've had people ask me oh can you make you know Milo the monkey or whatever and it might have been something that I made um, 
a month or so ago. And so somebody wants me to make another one, which is awesome. But I, I have had the, uh, I've, there have been times that I have forgotten what hook size I used. Did I use F hook? Did I use an E hook? You know, like a 3.75 or was it a 3.5? And so I have had to go back in my little book here and find out what hook size I used. And so it's very helpful to keep track of that. I have found that out to be because even some of my whip wall Wednesday projects some some prog works in progress project that I haven't worked on in ages and somehow the hook didn't get included with the pro in the project bag I probably had to use it for something else and then I'll forget oh what hook was I using for this <laughs> and so um, that happened with the gingerbread girl I remember that um, so keeping track of the pattern source and the hook size to me is very important and very helpful for me so I'm going to continue doing that and last year uh, now I didn't put this uh, I thought oh I'm going to do the start date and the finish date to see how long it takes me and I think that's wonderful to keep you know for P if you want to do that or get that detailed but for me it didn't it just didn't work out it was to me it was just it was too much trouble with other things that I was doing and so I, I ended up not doing that but mainly just the pattern source and the hook size Plus, I did make, um, let me show you, <laughs> I did put in like June, you know, like when the new month started, just to kind of give me an idea like how many projects I started in that month um, or worked on in that month. When I finished it, I just put a check mark so then I can say, oh, I, you know, I which projects that I finished or whatever. So uh, I'll probably end up continuing to do that but but that's it <laughs> pattern size hook size and and um dividing up my book into the months you know uh, that's it <laughs> okay so the next thing i have and that's all i have under record keeping okay so the last category i have is my youtube channel okay so i have three items listed under my youtube channel and the first one i have is i want to do more i want to do more tutorials and, and crochet alongs i think people are really enjoying that and it's it's just fun to know that there's people that's doing a project along with yourself I mean you know with you it's fun and so I want to do that and but I want to have better planning with it um, I know that um, last year when I did a few crochet alongs I had people finishing the amigurumi like the dash the deer that I did I had them finishing before I finished uh, filming the my well wasn't a tutorial for that there was like a kind of a helps tutorial or whatever not tutorial well yeah tutorial showing how to sew the parts together or whatever but not line by line tutorial but anyway um i don't want people waiting for me to get those videos out so i run i want to um plan them better and have them done more ahead of time and then schedule them to come out because that way um People aren't waiting on me. I feel real bad. <laughs> so anyway, that was number one. Number two is I want to continue with the Whip Wall Wednesday project uh, or series. Uh, I really enjoy doing that, and I think um, I think I, I mean I've had positive feedback where people enjoy uh, watching my progress on those projects. And it, that in main thing I think is great is that it has inspired other people to get their works and progresses that ones that have been sitting forever, uh, those sleeping <laughs> whips and, um, getting them out and, and finishing them also. So, uh, I think that is awesome that I can inspire people to get projects done because it's, it's so much, nicer and more freeing to and, and have a sense of accomplishment that you finally got things cleared out and you finished a project so I that is a great feeling for me and so I'm hoping that it will help others as well um, and you're keeping me accountable to also to get those projects done so um, I want to continue with that series and um, so that was number two on the channel category under the channel category and the third category I have I'm not sure it's kind of vague not vague it's not real detailed as far as what I want to do with it but I just wrote down live chats because I know that there are those that are do regular live chats um, and I enjoy getting on and chatting with people uh, as well and so I want I would like to do that um, host a live chat uh, I don't know how often you know, um, but I think it would be fun just to be able to interact with 
um, you. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to work with that idea a little bit. So let's see if I, how, how I can work that in. <laughs> so that is, that are, are my goals for this year. Okay. So I've got them in this book here and I'm going to keep track. I put a little posted note up here in the front of the book. Um, where I'm going to keep track of the preemie hats that I'm making and um, the uh, projects that I'm working out of my books and you know different things I want to keep track of them oh and I would also need to put a reminder for myself in um, in my phone or somewhere to uh, maybe at the six month mark like in June to check in to tell you know let you know how I'm doing on my goals but may but also as a reminder to myself that if I haven't met some of these things that I need to start thinking about them before the end of the year is over if I want to meet those goals <laughs> or if I need to reevaluate something so I want to do that I want to be able to do an update video at least uh, it's the six month mark in June. Um, I think the first year I did like a quarterly update and I might even do that too. I'm not sure, but it, if not quarterly, then, then, um, it's six months. So, okay. So I think that's it. I just wanted to hop on and tell everybody happy new year. And, um, I am praying that this new year is going to be better, way better than last year. <laughs> and so, um, I think that's it guys I just wanted to let you know what my goals are I, I know I love listening to other people's uh, goals that they set for themselves as well so um, I guess that's it I'll be back in a few couple of well a few days uh, this is Friday so probably at the beginning of the week maybe I'm not sure but in, in a few days I will be back um, hopefully with a room tour of my craft room and then of course whip wall Wednesday will be on Wednesday upcoming so anyway I'm going to go, guys. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.